Greetings everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tarko Gaming and today we're going to talk about a comic card in Marvel Future Fight. Well, it's obvious we got the comic cards in the face right here guys. Uh, comic cards is actually the most important things to build properly in Marvel Future Fight to be successful. So comic cards, especially on a new player, it's something to understand that you actually need to understand really, really, really early, which is why um, in my second video for my beginner guide series, guys, we're going to be talking about comic cards. There is a lot of different comic cards in uh, in Marvel Future Fight, guys, but you don't know. Uh, you don't need to know about all of them because most of those cards are actually total trash. If you take the premium cards out and the trash cards, you don't have many other cards out there that you should actually be focusing on, guys. The first thing I want to do before we go with what cards to actually put on your characters, guys, well, on your account, I want to go tr uh, with the all cards effect. Because you have three baseline, you actually need to pay very, very, very much attention. You have cooldown duration in your defense and attack speed. Those three stats are the three most important stats in the game, guys, in comic card building. Once you get those baseline properly, then you're going to be focusing on increasing your attack, your HP, whatever makes you happy depending on what game mode you're actually focusing your time on. So we're going to start here with the three primordial stat guys. Skill cooldown, which is cooldown duration here on the box. Uh, cooldown duration guys, it is probably the most important stat in the game. If your character does not have max skill cooldown, well, you're gonna you're not going to be able to use that immunity to all damage for example on certain characters as much as you need to to actually be successful in uh, kill either a wall boss or a shell on the floor or survive an alliance battle um, the other thing too that uh, skill cooldown is really going to affect is actually your rotation, your damage blast sync. You know, if you play an Alliance Battle Extreme, you don't have max skill cooldown, and your cooldown is, is supposed to be 7 seconds with the max skill cooldown, for example. And, well, because you're not max, you get that skill on 8 seconds, well, that will me mess up your uh, damage blast sync. So, skill cooldown is very, very important. The actual mark I recommend everybody to get to is 26%. 26% is the minimum of a max skill cooldown, well, of cooldown duration you need on your cards. You're going to get 26% from your cards if you build it properly. Then you're going to get 14% from being an alliance, uh, I think it's level 26 plus, which is actually very important. And you're going to get uh, the rest usually from gear, uniform option, or a little bit of Yuru that's going to take care of the actual missing skill cooldown so you can actually focus your stats on more offensive stats after that on your hero and your gear pretty much so cooldown duration guys 26% minimum if you are under 26% you are going to have major issue in reaching the cooldown duration you actually need uh, for your characters to be successful in like I said, Shadow Lin, Wall Bus Ultimate, uh, Alliance Conquest 7, uh, Alliance Battle, basically in every single game mode, if you cannot actually use your skills properly because your cooldown duration is too low, well, you're going to fail hardly, so it is a very important. The second more, more, most important stat, guys, is in your defense. What in your defense do in the game? Well, basically, in your defense, well, in your uh, energy defense, physical defense, and all defense on the characters, which is a very, very, very important. The cap of in your defense is actually 50%. On your cards, you want to get between 20 and 30 percent. If you even have more, it is good. It is not problems, but between 20 and 30 percent will help you uh, greatly to actually achieve that cap of 50 percent. Why is your defense so important? Is that basically having 50 percent in your defense will give you more than you have uh, than if you have. Uh, that energy you put on your cards increasing your in your defense 
in attack, critical damage, critical rate, uh, all that attack. In your defense, can give you more out of it than a regular attack, which is very important because, for example, a character's defending for 50% less means you can do a lot more damage to it, uh, pretty much. So, in your defense, is the most important offensive stat in the game, guys. Then you have attack speed. Attack speed will do a lot. If you actually focus on PvP, having max attack speed, uh, if the other characters you're facing does not have max attack speed and you're both pressing the, the same skill at the same time, well, the character with the highest attack speed is going to get the skills out first. So that's for PvP wise. Now if we go PvE wise guys, attack speed is very important for skill animation. You need your skill animation to be faster, attack speed is going to be very important. You have channeling skills like uh, Cable for example, Cable is the perfect example. If you do not have attack speed, if your attack speed is to zero and you use Cable in the battle of stream, you might score about 500,000 points. With the same setup with max attack speed, you might actually score 1.5 million. That can be that much of a difference with the attack speed. Attack speed is very important for that, guys. There are a lot of challenge characters, there are a lot of characters in PvP that need to get their iframe up before the other characters that they are facing. So. Attack speed is a very, very, very important on cards. For that, for attack speed, I recommend between 15 and 18 percent. Usually, you can get enough from your gear and your uniform bonus and your your to make up for uh, the attack speed you actually missing. Attack speed cap is 130 percent. Every character starts with 100. Uh, I think it's 110 percent. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty confident it's 100. Or some characters 100 I'm not sure uh, let me not confuse you guys but uh, you need that attack speed to be close to 120 to 125 percent on your character so you can actually fix it up eventually to reach 130 percent of the important characters with your our uniform option now with that said guys with that said uh, what cards, as a new player, or a player that I'm actually building my cards and I don't know what the hell I'm doing, what cards are actually good to set up here? The first two cards, the most important when you are starting to build cards, guys. Now when you're advanced, you know, when you start having premium cards, it will change. But at, as a starting building cards, cards number one is the low-key card. You have cooldown duration and all attack are very important. So here you got your skill cooldown and here you got your all attack which is two very strong stats. The second card is the Marvel Zombie number two cards guys. It's going to give you mostly cooldown duration that is what we worry, worry about on this card. So those two cards if you get them to mythical will give you about 18 to 20 percent cooldown duration just by themselves which is why they are so important. Then the next cards, guys, you have Punisher. The Punisher guard cards will give you in your defense and attack speed at the same time, which is very, very, very important, guys. Once you get that in your uh, that Punisher card, the next card you want to actually work on is actually not my card on the scout. Scout is two day old, so I'm still working on getting the proper cards I want. With a Nebula card here, instead of going with the cards I want and a Salar card. A Star Lord core in a card instead of the one I want. Basically, I will most likely replace my Star Lord card here. Card, sorry guys, with a, let's go in collection here. I'll show you the proper card just in a sec as soon as I can actually uh, find it. It's so hard to find the cards when the collection is not complete. There we go. Okay, the card you actually want to put here that is the fourth more important card. Well, the same as uh, same important as the Punisher 19 cards, guys, is this card. Secret Wars 2099 number one limb variant. This card is going to give you attack speed and in your defense. So by putting those two, those four first cards I just named all together, guys, you're going to get between 18% and 20% and um, 26% no problems uh, skill cooldown because some bonus option you have a chance at skill cooldown like I'm trying to see which option here uh, see the last option as cooldown duration you have an option the finisher cards also that will give you cooldown duration so if you get one good bonus option on one of the cards 
And if you get um, two, two of the cards of Emberov, can give you over 26% skill cooldown if you have those four cards at Mythical. So, you start with a really good out the bat uh, skill cooldown duration just with those four cards. Then, you have in your defense. You're going to have between 18 and 25% in your defense too with those four cards. And you can have your 18% of uh, of attack speed pretty much with those two cards because uh, yes it's not going to be 11 percent here it's you know that's level seven but uh usually the average is level three cards you're going to get i think it's eight percent on the level three three cards the level is here guys not the stars but the level is the the blue number next to the stars so if you get eight percent plus eight percent from the other one it gives you at least 16 you might get better rolls might get tax speed on the uh, Marvel Zombie or Loki card. So basically, you see my point here, guys. You see that having those four cards is actually going to fix your tax speed, uh, the start of your in your defense, and your school down duration most of the time. Then you want to go with the fifth cards, guys. As fifth cards, the card I actually recommend is uh, is mostly this card because of the max hp to be honest it's going to give you max hp it's going to give you in your defense that's a, a three stars card so the stats are lower but it's going to be like if you have at the six stars level seven it's going to be 11 percent 11 percent which is most likely not going to happen but you can see about the average of eight percent of each stat so basically if you count that card with in your defense with the Punisher cards and the Secret War 2099 cards that gives you about 24% of in your defense and have at least 16% of a uh, cooldown duration with those five cards together uh, and uh, you have bonus cooldown duration on bonus option that you actually want to want to want to get but uh, the bonus option guys is the option uh, in blue uh, like you can see here all attack is a bonus option so you're going to get everything you need there for your base stats and you want to try to roll those cards with some uh, offensive stats along the way but it's really important that to understand that with those five cards i just named guys the loki card the marvel zombie card the punisher card the secret war 2099 and the nebula cards you're gonna have all the basic stats you need then eventually you know you get premium cards you know a perfect role on certain cards you're gonna replace certain score but you're going to have to make sure to keep those stats where uh, where I'm telling you they need to be like like I said 26% cooldown duration 20% uh, plus uh, in your defense uh, the more the mirror and it's 15 to 18% attack speed this is what's very important now if we go with where to find all those cards Loki cards is pretty simple Loki cards is going to be found in the Loki Rift the Nebula card is going to be found in the Nebula Rift uh, next if we go for the Punisher cards, Punisher cards can be found in uh, comic cards chests from uh, the Token Shop, the Alliance Shop, uh, from Shadowland, from the, the card package you can buy with Crystal. Well, basically, wherever you can buy cards, you have a chance to get a Punisher card, uh, a Marvel Zombie card, a Secret War 2099 card, and they also come from uh, Rift, Dimension Rift. When you enter a Rift, that the level of the Rift is Eric Plus, uh, like right here, guys. I shall have a Rift still open here. Yeah. See, when it says Eric Plus and you have the icon of Acquire Additional Comic Card here, well, that is actually going to give you extra cards, which where it's where you're going to get your Marvel Zombie cards and your Punisher cards. Then the Secret War 2099 has also appeared there, but a little bit more rare. But it is possible to get it there too, pretty much. So those three cards, that's where you're going to get them. Then you're going to farm the two other cards annually, and, uh, the Loki cards and the Nebula cards. Loki Rift, Nebula Rift. And for the rest, it's from additional. Basically, I just say additional. I don't even try to buy them, guys. I just run Eric Plus Rift, and I get them. It's not hard if you join a level 30 alliance. And there's already a bunch of people that uh, are VIP players that will offer you uh, Eric Rift. Plus, you had people on your friend list. Very easy mode, guys. So that is pretty much how you build a comic card set, guys. That's what's important with 
comic card so hopefully that was helpful for everybody that watched this video if you have any question please let me know in the comment section guys um, I don't know what I'm going to bring as the next uh, beginner guide but we're going to try to make something as interesting as today's video and as informative guys so don't forget to hit the sub button guys the like button and share this video to help as many people as we can guys on that thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video